Okay, I'm at Tremel Fossil Park. I'm going to be chopping some wood. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be chopping out. Um, this one just fascinates me because it has the potential to be uh, not really hard, but slightly unpredictable. And I love uh, trying to predict the results of the unpredictable and trying to control them into basically predictability. Control, control, control. Um, I'll show you it. I'll show you it from different angles too. Make sure this is locked. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can tell when the door isn't locked on the camera. Okay, here we go. Got up there, so I'm afraid it may fall forward. It actually hit my bag if I was so inclined to leave it there. Now I can chop out this, and it may just. Oh, maybe that's what I will do. Just chop that out and then chop this, which will drop it. See, that's why you examine things through. And I'll just chop this away if I got battery juice left. And it opens up the path. And you can just walk through and snap things off. But basically, that you basically, I, I try to make it so you don't have to duck under anything, even though I can duck under everything. But, uh, you take an examination of things and then you figure out how to do it. So I'll probably end up just probably maybe cutting from this side. Just debating. You have to make sure this thing won't shift at all, but it's pretty solid. It's just once you cut that with this shift, but I don't think it will shift in the sense that I believe this tree has it will hold it. And if it does shift, it will shift this way, and I'll be behind it. So, gotta always look through th things through. Um, that's when you're cutting trees, and that uh, keeps you from getting uh, injured or killed. You just don't go into it stupidly. You got you gotta have an iota of intelligence if you want to uh, do it successfully without hurting things yourself. That's one reason I love doing it. It requires a degree of thinking things through, examining everything, and processing it real quick. And it's, I love that. It's, it's like a puzzle. I love creating puzzles and f to solving them. Okay. Bye. Well, I missed the exciting part where it fell, basically. But my theory of it being held up uh, was right. Just cut through eventually. Caused the wren to go off. Here, I'm going crazy in the background. Here you go. Nice old chunk. Size heavy chunk at that. <laughs> nice eaten up by bugs. <sighs> Good old chunk. I love throwing and hauling wood, it's just awesome. But now, basically, one can walk on through. about as much, you know, blocking. I will eventually remove this and that back. I don't necessarily know if I have the battery power to do it. Need to buy some new batteries. These are old. Gosh. 
Some of them are over two years old. Getting, or no, older than two years. Got them in 2005 when I was cutting down the ash tree. So uh, basically, that's what I did. I'll mess with a little bit more, but I doubt I'll cut through anything else except for maybe that back there. I might do that. It'll be easy. Got a chickadee in the background pissed off too. Adios.